Hi friends, Pastor Josh here with another midweek meditative moment for you. Sorry about the last few weeks uh, for not having posted in a while. It's been quite a busy time, but I am back again today with a re short reflection about the rivers of our spiritual lives. But first, a piece of scripture. This is from the book of Psalms, chapter 46, verse 4. <clears throat> there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of Most High. Amen. So often, our lives, and especially our spiritual lives, can be characterized like a river. In the same way that uh, a river flows through many different places, through many different landscapes and terrains, spanning great distances, so too do our lives and our spiritual lives go through many different places, and that river looks different from place to place. Uh, sometimes it's a wide and easy flowing river, and sometimes it's just a little bit of a trickle. Sometimes it's a roaring rapid, and sometimes it's, well, a little dry, like the Salinas River behind me. Sometimes that river flows underground, and, and the same is true for our spiritual lives. Sometimes we feel full in our spiritual lives, like we are a grand river moving forward, and other times uh, we feel a little bit more dry. It's hard to connect with the aspects of spirituality that sustain us. There are many different ways we can be like a river in our spiritual lives. And so today we're going to be taking a moment to sit on the banks of the river of our spiritual lives, reflecting on where we are and how God can take us where we would like to be. So I hope, friends, that you would now join me in this time as we settle our hearts, quiet our minds, seek peace for our spirits, as we invite God to dwell with us in this still and quiet place, pushing out just for a minute all of those things that have stressed us and, and tied up our energies from this day or from this week to simply be for a moment embracing our presence with God's presence in stillness and in quiet. And as we sit here in that still and quiet place, imagine that you are sitting on the banks of a river, and not just any river, but the river of your spirit. What does that river look like? And, and just observe the river for a moment. Don't try to get into wh what you would like your river to be, what you hope your river to be, but just what does the river of your spirit look like at this moment? Is it that wide and free-flowing river, or is it more of a creek? Is it rushing with rapids, or is it a little bit dry? Just sit in, ob in observance with of your river. And as you observe the river of your spirit, connect to what it feels like to be on that river. If it is that wide and easy, smoothly flowing river, is that calming and peaceful? Or is it perhaps complacent and a little bit dull feeling? If your river is rapids and, and filled with choppy waters, is that frightening and scary? Is the uncertainty of what comes next, or the, the ebbs and flows a little bit much to handle, or is it exciting and thrilling? Is the dryness of the river something that longs for fresh, renewed water? New rainfall to come from above, or is that river merely underground? waiting for the right moment to surface and spring forward once again. Think about what it feels like to be on your river, on the shores of your river, wherever, whatever your river might look like, however that might feel. And as you think about how you are on your river, think about where you would like to be. If you find yourself on that peaceful, calming riverbed, perhaps you are craving more twists and turns in the river. Or perhaps if you are on that twisty, turny, choppy river, perhaps you are in need of that calming river. If you are on a, the banks of that dry riverbed, are you in need of fresh rainfall from above? 
Or are you in need of something to draw out the waters that rush below the surface? And as you identify where you would like to be on your river, what you would like your river to look like, invite God to be with you in that moment. And imagine how God might provide for you, for your river. How God might change and transform your river. Be a fresh source of water for your spiritual life, and your spiritual journey and understanding how God might bring you into new places on the river, places that you would like to go to on the river of your spiritual journey. As you imagine how God might change and transform the river of your spiritual life, spend a moment reflecting on how that might look, how God would change it and where your river would be. In quiet reflection, think about where you would like the river of your spiritual life to go. Spend as much time with these, in these places as you need, friends. And when you are ready, let us stand from the shores of our rivers, exiting that still and quiet moment, coming back into our day, but taking with us a renewed understanding of our spiritual lives and a renewed direction for our spiritual lives, having seen where our rivers are and dreamt of where our rivers might go. Having understood maybe a little bit deeper how we are experiencing and understanding God at this moment, whether that be filled or choppy or not really understanding at all in terms of the dry riverbed and where we might go in our experience and our connection with our Lord, how that might be filled and renewed in our lives. I hope, friends, that this has been an uplifting time for you and a helpful time for you. Uh, I hope now that as you go about the rest of your day and the rest of your week, that you would continue to be carried forward on God's sustaining waters. Take care, friends, and I'll see you next time.